I was 40 years old when I endured the worst day of my life. I had already spent most of the day at the hospital watching a loved one slowly die of liver disease. His name was Mel. The poor soul was not only a dear friend, but my brother-in-law. The only brother to Lonnie. My husband. Both Lonnie and Mel were kind men. Good men by the humblest of street standards. Although weak. And prone to addiction. Which made living in Vegas the worst possible city for them to inhabit. Yes. Las Vegas. Isn't that bad? Yes, it is. His vital signs have gotten worse. His kidneys have shut down. Um, as I was telling your mom, if there's ever a time to call someone, someone religious, now would be the time. Excuse me, I'll go get the doctor. Is Orpa here? I know. She her shift ends in five minutes. Can you give Lonnie a call? He's not answering my text, Naomi. He'll never forgive himself if he's not here for his brother's final moment. I know. Honey, can you give me a minute? I will keep trying. Lonnie, please call me back. Your mom needs you. I need you. There's deep, complete. Waller's got it, and he is inside, right around the ten-yard line. Lincoln called it. Here's Johnson. Good touchdown, Angel. Just went right to. Open your arms, Father. Welcome my boy home. And celebrate through my pain. husband and his brother dying on the same night. It was devastating. It was nice. I just wish a few more of Mel's friends from work could have came. I guess we can take a comfort knowing that maybe they're together. I have to go. Okay. I'm I'll see you. I'll see you soon. Take care. I'm sorry.
You, you have to work tonight? <laughs> Not tonight. <laughs> Charles thought that moving us to Vegas would give us a new start. <laughs> You know, he's, he's buried not too far from here, just over that hill. What are you going to do, Mom? I don't know. Go home, I guess. I mean, country roads take me home. You just... It just never worked out here. It's time. West Virginia? No. I'm going with you. <laughs> no, honey. I appreciate it, but you need to move back to your family. You are my family, Naomi. No. I mean, it's much more complicated than that. <sighs> I don't have anything. I have nothing. I have no money. Nothing. <laughs> oh, we have nothing. We have no money. You know, I think I have an old family farmhouse in West Virginia. It's up in the mountains. I own it with my sister. I think it's still standing. <laughs> still standing? <laughs> well, what I mean to say is... I think I have a place to live. We have a place to live. <sighs> Look. It didn't work out here. And we have nothing left. But you are the mother to my husband, Naomi. So where you go, I go. Listen to me. When you go, I go. Where you live, I live. You are my family, Naomi. Don't talk to us, Bart. Yes. And your God is my God. So we set forth on a new journey. Our week-long road trip was full of laughs, tears, memories of the past, and hopes for the future. I think it was Ohio when Naomi started acting different. Look! Wild and wonderful. Wild and wonderful. Yay! <laughs> Wild and wonderful. We did it! We did it! <laughs> Okay, where are we here? So we need to get there. Okay. How far? Oh, it's not that bad. I just agree with you. How far? Uh, a couple hours, maybe. So dinner. Yeah. Let's just get there. What do you think? There's food there. No, yeah, maybe. Did you go to the bathroom yet?
Polly made it. I had never seen so many trees. West Virginia was beautiful. Sweet home. It certainly isn't how we remembered it. Are you sure this is it? Naomi! <laughs> Naomi! Naomi, wait! My sister's name was Judy. I'm so sorry. You didn't know. I had a feeling. I guess I didn't want to know. You're afraid to marry me. You'd rather live with that silly little fool who can't open a mouth except say yes, no, and raise a parcel of mealy mouth bread just like. Who was to say things like that about Melanie? Who are you to tell me I must? You let me on. You, you made me believe you wanted to marry me. Now, Scarlett, be fair. I never at any time. You did. It's true. You did. I hate you till I die. I can't think of anything bad enough to call you. Oh man, what happened? Your battery died. We'll just plug it in. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'll get the power turned on tomorrow. I'm not complaining. Mm. Naomi, mm. tell me about growing up here. In this house or mm. in the city? There's a city. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. You have to remember it was a different time. My dad was a, a coal miner, and Mom stayed at home. It was just me and my sister. When did you realize? You know, as soon as I came up onto the porch. Oh, Judy was such a great housekeeper. She would have never let... I'm sorry. She would have never left it like that. She loved this house. 
So what do you guys do? Wake up at 6 a.m. when the rooster crowed? <laughs> feed the hens? Milk the cows? No, oh, something like that. <laughs> <sighs> Our bedrooms were upstairs, where the two bedrooms are. One was Judy's, one was, one was mine. Mom and Dad's bedroom was off the kitchen, which, when you are a teenager, was a real pain because it made noise when you walked. <laughs> we always snuck out at night to go to the barn. Yeah. It was just the two of us would just sit up and chat all night. You guys were close. Tell me about the city. Uh, Bridgeport? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I remember it's been 25 years since I've been there, so I'm not quite sure if it's the same, but 25 years, well. Now we can go and check it out tomorrow if you want. Yes. I don't know what it's like anymore, but I can tell you what it used to be like. Oh, it was quite a special place. Everybody <laughs> knew everybody. <laughs> Sit on the front porch and you'd socialize. And, oh, Fourth of July fireworks. Oh, and there's this really big event at Christmas time. It's called Light Up Night. They used to bring, bring this huge Christmas tree in the center town and everybody had helped decorate it. It's quite a special place. You cold? Thank you. Thank you for my daughter. Thank you for her incredible art. She's such a blessing. Thank you for bringing her into my son's life and giving him the love that he needed. And thank you for bringing her into my life. Father God, I just pray for your, your blessings on her. Bring her someone into her life that can love her and take care of her and protect her the way that she deserves. Someone that will look at her like a princess, because she is your daughter, daughter of a king, my wee powerful Hello, my name is Naomi Starkey. Where have you been? Oh, it is so good to see you. I'm Cindy Sullivan, was Powers. I went to Bridgeport Middle and High School with your sister. I'm so sorry. Um, I just saw Danny yesterday at the buffet place. He had the grandkids. But it is good to see you. Uh, what can I do for you? My parents' old house on La Joe Road. 508 Lodgeville Road. I would like to get the utilities up and running again, if that's Are possible. Are you on the account? Well, I was calling over with my sister, so I should be. Oh, here we are. Oh. Can you give me a minute? Danny? Uh, Mrs. Starkey, it says here the property is being foreclosed on. No, 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 there's a mistake. My parents paid off that mortgage years ago. Well, it says here they tried to reach you but got no answer. First Charter Bank and Trust. I'll figure it out. 
my friend and I, all of our stuff is in that house, and we don't have any place else to go. Ma'am, you still own the property. The foreclosure's not till December the 15th. Can we just at least get the utilities running again? Is that possible? Ma'am, you still own the property, so we can look into getting the utilities hooked back up again, and we may be able to do that today. But as far as anything else, you'll need to talk to the bank about that. I will. I will. Thank you so much. Cindy, go ahead and get this processed and uh, see if we can get a truck out there today. All right. All right. That'll be $316, and we have a mandatory deposit of $150 on new accounts. All righty. And you're all set. Thank you so much. It's so good to see you. You as well. Have a good day. We don't need a thousand hot dogs. No. Just two packages, that's all we need. Damn. What? Why is nobody staring at us? Nobody's staring at us. What? Ninja kick. Oh, please let me be. We have light! Yes! Well, that was quick. You know what that means? house a home. What do you say? What about the bank? You know what? I'm going to trust the Lord's going to take care of that. Okay. For now. I love you. I love you more. <laughs> take a shower. <sighs> that was Naomi. She trusted God. She trusted people. There was something about coming back to that old farmhouse. Those memories Naomi had. They affected her. I could see a difference. For me, I just knew we had made the right choice. Now we had to clean. And clean we did. My name's John. I live right down the road. And I saw there's some people up here. Naomi Starkey. 
This is John Westover. You know, I've always loved this old farmhouse, so if you ever need any help uh, fixing some things, some minor repairs, be glad to give a hand. Could use a plumber. I could be back tomorrow morning with my tool. All right. Okay, see you then. Watch it too scare off with the broom. I could use the exercise. I just live up the road. She's back. Naomi Starkey is back and on the market. I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> but I think I need to warn you. There are a few people in town that will not let the truth stand in the way of good rumor. Yes. <laughs> well, I told you it was going to test positive. Once that soil is unearthed and excavated, everything will be fine. I I'm sure of it. <laughs> Trust me, I know exactly what the city is trying to do. <laughs> Who do you think proposed it? <laughs> okay, listen, listen. I'll be up there in the morning. I'll see you then, okay? Good night. So they have rehearsal tonight, but please feel free to stop by at any that time. That would be wonderful. Thank you. Sure. Oh, and I put my number in this note. So if you okay. need anything, please don't hesitate to Perfect. call. Perfect. Okay, Thank see you so ya. Much, Heather. Bye. Bye. Well, hey, how do you feel? I'm better. Naomi, who was that? Oh, that was Heather. Heather Mudrick. She's my niece. As in your sister's kid. Mm-hmm. And look what she brought us. Look at here. Oh, no, honey, honey, that's that's a bank statement. It's associated with the house. You don't need to be concerned about it. So did you ever meet her before? Who? Your niece. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, look what she gave us. You got some pickled green beans. No, 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 honey, that's, that's a note that my sister left for me. Heather gave it to me. Apparently she... Knew I would be back. Naomi? Me. Chicken. Fried chicken. West Virginia fried chicken. West Virginia fried chicken. You know I've only heard of this food. So my sister Judy had liver cancer. She had to borrow money against the house to help pay for her medical treatments. That was the last time we talked. Heather told me that. Heather is so beautiful. She looks so much like her mother. Oh my gosh, Judy was beautiful. So she's married now. And she has a house in town. <laughs> That's wonderful, Naomi. Two daughters. <laughs> That's great. Oh, and listen to this. She has a dance studio in downtown Bridgeport. <laughs> She's invited us to go watch her daughters, who happen to be my grandnieces, invited us to watch them dance. Isn't that great? Yes. You have family in town. Ruth. We have family in town. Now you gotta try this West Virginia fried chicken. <laughs> Sunshine. 
Morning, man. And who are you? I'm John. I just live down the road. I'm here helping out. Just to fix the sink out of the kindness of your own heart. Yes, ma'am. This is in Vegas. He's a man, isn't he? Uh, you want me to fix you a cup of coffee? Some breakfast? I can fix you some eggs, John, and brought some fresh farm eggs. Of course he did. I'm going to go into town. Is it okay if I use the van? Sure. Do you want anything? No, I'm good. Do you want to come to check out some of the other house stuff? No, I think I'm good. You go, go ahead. Have fun. Okay, I'm gonna leave you guys alone, but John, I have your license plate number. Okay, and I know where you live. Okay, she's finished. Great. My dearest Naomi, my heart is broken knowing that I'll never see you on this earth again. I would give anything just to have one more walk with you. Not even my most painful medical procedures equal this heartache. But I will see you in heaven, and there we will celebrate with our family. Please don't grieve me, for now I'm free. I love you always. Love, Judy. Sisters forever and ever. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. Can you sit down? What do you need, hon? Can you sit? Well, just tell me what you need. They're going to put a rec center here. Here? Yeah. In here? Yes, on your property. Oh. Wow. All right. Look, don't get mad. What? I'm Ruth, gonna... what did you do? I went to the bank. Can I help you? Yes. I got a notice from the courthouse. Guys are foreclosing on our property? What property? The Starkey property. You can't. We can raise the money. I know the city wants to build a whole rec center up on that mountain. I mean, that one little spot? You can't have it. The whole mountain? You don't need the whole mountain. You have to stop. We have one little piece of property. You can't have it. Look, Naomi, my mom, my mother-in-law, Naomi Starkey and I, we just moved from Vegas, and I've done research. I have all the paperwork, and I've been doing my research, and I know, I know, I know the city wants to buy up the entire mountain in that one little spot where we live, and I know you guys want it for a rec center. I can't let that happen. I can't let that happen. I'm not gonna be able to help you. I'm sorry. Your name again? Ruth. I told you that's my business. Went to City Hall. Anything you need to know about that property's history is right in this file. All of it? Yeah. You uh, new around here? A lot of excitement up in that area. There you go, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, April. Uh, actually, I'm going to run these back to the records room. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, there's there's six lots up there. City paid for five of them, paid fair market. Uh, the only one left's up there, one right there. Uh, 508 Lodgeville Road, Bank owns that one. Not for long. 
Hello, this is the files that you requested. They're 10 cents a copy and just pay on your way out. Oh, jeez. Sorry. Here you go. Jeez. Oh, oh, sorry about that. Thank you. Excuse me, uh, Ms. Mayor? Hey, kids. Listen, since we bumped into each other, could I get an official comment on Rex server? <laughs> well, nothing official yet, but we're hoping to break around in, in, in January. That's a note service, man. It's an IOU. IOU. Do you know her, Mr. Mayor? No, who is she? And I went to a church. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know anyone else was in here. Sorry, I just wanted to come in. Well, you can stay. I just have to run out for a minute. I'm Pastor Ruth. I'm Ruth. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ruth. Nice to meet you, too. I just moved here yesterday. I'm from out west. My husband died. And I felt like I needed a home. So I love Naomi and we just we just drove all the way out here. But I'm worried about her. And she's worried about me. But I'm not worried. I mean it's not good to worry, right? Because I'm so I'm not worried. Wow. Yeah, I'm crazy. No, Ruth, wait a second. I want to give you a key to the church. And then you can come and pray anytime you want and just lock up when you leave. No offense, Pastor, but I do not pray enough to get a key to a church, especially this one. It's no big deal. But it's beautiful. Yes. Look at this key. Let this key represent your future. See all the cuts? Some are deep, some are slight. And look at those cuts as events, trials. And these trials, these hardships, are necessary to unlock your future. I believe that. And if we can get by those trials, those cuts. God has wonderful plans for our future. <laughs> but each individual cut is unique in your life and important for your future. And I think your future looks very bright, Ruth. So just hit the lights when you leave. Do you want me to lock up? <sighs> nah, we never lock the church. A nice guy at a diner. Sorry, my name is Will. Thank you, Will. For the paper. And the company. It was very well. It was fun. It was really fun. <laughs> Parts no good, lady. Got another one? No. Cash? No. You know what? You can't. He's a, I, I'm sorry, I thought you do. I canceled that card a couple weeks ago. That's not good anymore here. Go ahead and uh, put it on that one. Oh, Fine. You did it? Well, thank you. I hear you. I didn't have my credit card, but I had my credit card and it didn't work. So he bought me breakfast. Can you believe that? He's nice. You said people were really nice. They're so nice here. You were so right. <laughs> And I met a cute boy. It's okay, fun. okay, Ruth, is there a point to this story? Please, please just get to it. Naomi. Yes. You only owe forty-five thousand dollars. <gasps> oh, only forty-five. We can find that. Where? Okay, find it. Where? Here? Where are we gonna find it? Naomi. What do you know about an SOX corporation? An SOX. Yes, it's all over this paperwork. All over the property <laughs> papers, the diagrams, it's everywhere. I've never heard of it. By the way, what is a rec center? A recreation center. Ball fields, soccer fields, 
Well, that's nice, right? No, not on your property. Naomi, I have an idea. What? How big will the pumpkins get? How big? The, well, it depends on soil. It depends on the environment. They can get this to... They're but big. big. But they, they'll get yeah, big. They do. Okay, we can sell them. We can make money selling pumpkins. We can make the money selling the pumpkins at Halloween, Thanksgiving. People will buy pumpkins. We can make all of the money. I can do posters. We can do marketing. We can do advertising. People will pay money for pumpkins and we can sell them to make this money. Oh, Ruth, can we talk about this later? Heather called me earlier and she invited us to the dance studio to watch the girls practice. Do you want to go? Oh, yes, but what do you think about this idea? Honey, let's talk about it later, okay? I have a headache. I'm tired, okay? So I tell you what, you go change. Because I have a feeling that you probably turned a few heads in old Bridgeport, West Virginia with that outfit. All right, can you do that? Thank you, honey. Socks. Naturally, Heather told me, and I was very sad to hear about the boys and your husband. Thank you. How are things up at the old house? I'm, I mean, do you need anything? You know, I think we're okay. It's because she already has a handyman. <laughs> uh, listen, uh, I'll say the grace, uh, and then we'll eat. <laughs> Dear Jesus, we love you. And we thank you for Naomi and for Ruth and for getting them here safely. Dear Lord, I pray that they find happiness in the midst of all this heartache. Dear Father, please bless our bodies, please bless our food, and dear Father, please bless us into thy service, amen. 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 So y'all have any plans? We have a pumpkin patch. Excuse me? We have to do something. The bank is kicking us out. And I figure if we sell pumpkins over Thanksgiving and Halloween, we'll have enough money. Didn't know that the bank had set a date. Yep, December 15th. We're out by then. Can we, can we talk about this later, please? I'm oh, sorry. Look, maybe we can pay the bank back. We sell pumpkins over the weekends. The pumpkins should be coming right mm -hmm. in the next week or two. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, it's perfect timing. Give it a shot. But if you ask me, all that craziness up on the mountain, fishy. Hmm. How come? Just a Perez name on, on it all. Do you know that the, uh, the mom, she was a... Jason. You know what I mean. Who's the Perez family? Solomon Perez and Boaz hmm. Perez. Sal... He owns the bank, and Bo is, they call him Bo. He owns the town. He doesn't own the town. Um, he is the mayor. <laughs> Tall guy. Black hair. Yes. yes. Naomi, no. Do not go there. Stop, no. Stop it. In the meantime, I need a job. Any ideas? Actually, you know what? The the church, they're looking for someone for their mm -hmm. daycare. Um, it's a part-time position, but you might be interested. Mm -hmm. That would be wonderful. 
Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You mm-hmm. might be so good at that. Thank you. The rec center. Um, there's a motion on the floor to approve the budget for the rec center, $42 million. Uh, is there a second? We got a second. Okay. As you can see here, um, the, the rec center is going to cover uh, an area of about 500 square meters. It's going to have volleyball, basketball courts. Um, you can see the entire uh, community will be able to access uh, the recreation center. Uh, Mr. Mayor, you mentioned ground zero. Can we please talk about sulfur dioxide for a moment? Uh, ooh. We, that's a very interesting question, Kent. Um, Hey, Dad. I, I, no, I totally understand. Uh, but how much longer? Okay. Thank you. I have the newspaper wanting to comment on the rec center. What do you want to say? Is it Kent again? <laughs> Look, uh, tell him that you know we 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 don't have any formal announcement yet, but but. We hope to break ground in in January. We might tell him something more around December. Okay, I would tell him. But but we will have a more formal announcement coming. What do you think about officially announcing the Recreation Center at light-up night? That's kind of brilliant. Right after Thanksgiving, I love it. Thank you, April. Very well done. Hey, um, you wouldn't happen to know um, um, Ruth? Forget it. Forget it. Thank you. Okay. I think it would be easier if you just put a slide on the stairs, Naomi. No, don't break your ankle. (laughs) Ta-da! Wow, you're up early. I'm going to the church. You know, the daycare job. How do I look? You look good. I made some coffee. Go help yourself. All right, look, don't think I'm crazy. What? I did some research. Mm-hmm. On the farms around here, mm-hmm. there is no farm owned by a John guy. Well, maybe it's under the name Jonathan. No. No, Jonathan. What? Look, just be careful. I don't trust him. There's something about him, Naomi. Please, just trust me on this. Just him? Do you need anything from the store? (sighs) No, I think I'm good. Okay. Wish me luck. Knock him dead. I'm looking for a job. I heard you were hiring. Um, we're not really hiring in the kitchen right now, but I can go get you an application and you can bring it back later. No, I wanted to be a teacher. Teach? But I have a resume. We well, don't really just hire teachers off the street. No, but I have a key. Yes, to the church. You have a key to the church. Uh, hi, uh, it's Ruth, right? Will. What, what are you doing here? I'm looking for a job. Oh. As a teacher. Oh, well, we do have some openings. Um, I'm the principal, so. Uh, well, let's go check in my office. The principal? Yes. Oh, my. I'm in charge of everything. Wow. Mr. Mayor, tell me, are you buying all the land on the mountain? Or are you really going to build a rec center? We are talking about it, thinking about it, so, so maybe. 
But, but I can tell you this, we will have a much more formal announcement about all of this on Light Up Night. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, so if you just sign right here at the bottom, that'll take care of the paperwork. And then here is your key card that'll get you into school. It won't get you into church, but that's never locked anyway. Um, any questions? Tomorrow, right? Morning classes only. Thank you. I will not let you down. Well, thank you for everything. My pleasure. I'm so excited. Okay. Thank you. Have a great day. Oh yeah, yeah. Huh? What do Banana you peppers. I yeah. like to stuff them. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. you like to cook? A little, little filling? Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm certainly not yeah. a gourmet, but... Oh, cool. Very good. I, I like a little variety. Yeah. Well, these are such a beautiful plant. Let's take the green ones. I don't yep. like the green ones. Yeah, they're the good ones. Mm -hmm. Who is that? I'm going to take care of it. Things are not always as they appear in small towns. Naomi had warned me about this. You see, as excited as we were about this new venture, someone or something was about to ruin our plans. Well, we opened the pumpkin patch. It was so exciting. Finally, we could start getting our lives together. Naomi and Ruth's pumpkin patch. Hi. Hi. I, I, I'm, I'm Bo. You're Bo? No, no. My, but my name is Bo. Bo as Perez. We, we met at the, the records room. Here? In Seattle? You're following me? No, 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 no. Uh, you, you gave me an IOU. This, oh, remember? Yeah, so you're following me to collect. No, no. I, I'm, I'm messing this up. I, I, I literally just wanted to say hi. That's all. I wanted to meet you. That's the whole truth. The truth? Yeah, well, I'm pretty convinced that you're a species that's incapable of truth. So you want to try again? <laughs> Look, uh, can I buy a cup of coffee? Or, or better yet, two for one hot dogs at TNL. Seriously? Uh, they're the best in town. I'll tell you what, Mr. Bo. It's Mayor, right? Yeah, Bo is fine. So I, I read your article. Breaking ground in January. Kids will be playing soccer by summer. Yeah. Over my dead body.
I am so proud of you. Ruth, we're going to be okay. I ran into the mayor today. Oh? I hear he's handsome. He's all right. Any size. Have fun. Naomi. Yeah, this is gonna work. I hope so. Yes. You put too much work into it. It's gonna work. Ma'am, I hope so. You put a lot of work in Ma'am, uh, yes. we, we can't find any good pumpkins. They're all rotten. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I can't. I'm sorry, sir. Okay. Ruth, what happened? I don't know. I hope it's just that one. Did you check the pasture? Yes, no, I checked. Mommy, it was fine. That next morning, I checked the pumpkin patch. They were ruined, so rotted. I was devastated. Everything we worked so hard for, gone? Guess who had the guts to come by? The last person I wanted to see. What's going on? Tell your dad he won. I don't know anything about that. Thanks for stopping by. You know Kent, reporter. You know, why does he keep asking me about about contaminated soil up on the mountain? What mountain? Dad, come on. <laughs> Uh, so there's there's nothing to worry about. Once we get to uh, circulate the soil, everything will be just fine. Circulating this, Dad. I, I'm the mayor of this town. This is my town. I'm responsible for this. You, you, I'm not somebody you can just schmooze over by saying circulate the soil. What does that even mean, son? We own all of the land. I'm up there on the mountain every day, overseeing. You own all the land. Yes. Yes, I do. Who are you calling? I, I met this girl. Um, she says, Ruth? You know she's from Vegas. Dad. Husband died recently. Son, I'd be very careful. Yeah, Ruth, hey, yeah, it's Bo. Um, look, I, I'm speaking here with my father right now. Would you mind uh, meeting me in my office? Yeah. Can I help you? Is the mayor here? Let me check. The mayor is here. Okay, I'll admit it. Boaz was handsome. He was rich. He was everything a woman dreamed of. At first, of course, I wanted to know more about this rec center and his dad. But as we started talking, all that became fun. Well, not important. Thank you for inviting me in, Naomi. You know, I was very sorry to hear about your sister's death and your husband and, and your boys. 
My own wife passed away about three years ago. I'm so sorry to hear about Mr. Cross. Please, call me Sal. <laughs> Sal. You know, after something like that happens, it's, it's hard to find our bearings. Sometimes we just need a change. Well, I really do want to say thank you for lending my sister the money against the house. Hmm. That is why you're here, right? Yes. Uh, hmm. your, your friend Ruth, she wanted to pay the loan. Yeah. Hmm. My son is very fond of her. Hmm. Do you really want to stay in this old house, Naomi? Mr. Perez, it's all that I know here. You know, the city would like to make a park of some sort out of it. Uh, a rec center. I know. <laughs> what if I were to offer you $50,000 for it right now? We would forget about the foreclosure and your sister's death. and Well, you could take the money and you could get a fresh start. We'll even move your family cemetery to the city cemetery. They have some beautiful plots right up on top of the hill. My own wife, Rahab. She's buried there. Are you serious? Yes. I'm very happy that you're back, Naomi. I hope you'll stay. Why are you doing it? I just want to help. <laughs> you know, I have a contract right here, along with a check. What do you say we get this taken care of today? Do you think you could be out next week? Naomi, this! I have to tell you something. Me first! I have some good news. What? What is it? We sold the house! Ruth, we sold the house! You what? Mr. Perez came over, right? And he bought the house. We don't have to foreclose on it. Ruth, he even said he's going to move the family cemetery. And he gave us $50,000. When? I, I don't know, about an hour ago. Why? Um, because he wanted to help. He wanted to help? So, since when do men want to help, Naomi? Men don't want to help? You sold our house? What if we worked so hard for it? You sold our house! Just stop it! Stop it, Ruth. Don't you know? $50,000 can change our lives. I know. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure he knows that, Naomi. Why do you think he wants to buy the house? Why do you think he came over? Why did he just wait until it was foreclosed on? Then he could have gotten it free and clear. Gosh darn it, Naomi! When will you learn your lesson? Men will always take advantage. What did you want to tell me? That's it. That's why you took me to the city. I'm an idiot. I'm such a fool! I was the only one with the key. Naomi said you left mad, so I, I thought you might be here. Why do you go to Rex Center? And you better be 100% honest with me. Ruth, I will never lie to you. Answer the question. I want a place for kids to be able to come together and play. That's it. Okay. Why did your dad want a rec center so bad? Honestly, I don't know. Yeah, I wanted to know more about this rec center and his dad. But as we started talking, my mother, um, all of that became 
Not important. She had a house uh, in, in the city. He the made me laugh. Of town. He made me feel safe. I wasn't. And he showed me Very who he really home. was. Yeah. We talked and talked about our dreams, yeah. our hopes. No. I was falling <laughs> in love with him. Okay, just check it. I was doing the thing I promised I would never do again. We talked all night. In fact, we fell asleep at the church that night. to SOX. Sulfur dioxide. The emissions of burned coal. Let's have a talk. Facebook. What? What is it? You? Ruth? Okay, so the Press family bought up all this land to get rid of sodium dioxide, but they said they want a rec center? Would you get out? Did the mayor tell you this when you slept together last night? What? Or when no, Papa not. Perez came and bought up I all this land? Get out I just want the truth! environmental group in DC. So you just used us. What? Look, I wanted to tell you. No. Naomi. I, Naomi, I told you. Naomi, wait. <laughs> just let me explain. You lied to me. I know I lied to you, but, but the thing that I did was Did I believe God had a plan? No, not at all. I had made myself hope again, love again. I had opened myself up and look what happened. Life was not going to get any better for me. I got fired. I got humiliated. How could I have trusted him? I decided to go back to Vegas. 
Great, you forgot your purse. What time is your bus sleep tonight? At 10. We're gonna miss you. Yeah, miss the stories, right? <laughs> Crazy Aunt Ruth from Vegas. <laughs> Naomi is going to miss you. Heather, I'm coming back to visit. I'm not going away forever. No, you won't. Hot off the press. He didn't have anything to do with it. He lied to me, John. Lied? Maybe. But read the article. His father was the one behind all of it. I truly don't believe he had anything to do with it. John. I'm sorry. What, what are you going to do about the mountain? Clean it up. We'll get it done. Yeah, Naomi. We put some of those things into storage, but do not forget about light of night tonight. Oh, I'll be there. You bet. See you then. All right. Are you talking about light up night? Yeah. With the Christmas tree? I remember when I told you about that. <laughs> it was our first night here. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Do not make me cry. I'm sorry. But I'm gonna miss you. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no. I am not going to look at you and I will leave. My pain is so stubborn. <laughs> I love you. You know that. You know tonight is light up night. I heard. What are you doing? I'm waiting for my bus. What? festivities tonight. I had promised that I'd make a formal announcement about the rec center. The recreation center is moving forward. However, its location has been moved to a much better and cleaner area of town. This Christmas, let's, let's celebrate our families. Good, bad, whatever. May we all learn to love each other better. Merry Christmas. When Mr. Perez told me Bo paid off the house. It was hard to keep as well as the check for 50,000 as compensation for the damage to the land. 
Bob is devastated to hear about the contamination. As far as never trust a man, maybe there's still some hope. Isn't it beautiful? It's so pretty. Ruth, I'm so glad you're staying. I couldn't bear not having you in my life. You are my daughter. <laughs> Nami, I'm so sorry. Why? The way I acted? I wasn't really going to leave you. I <laughs> We have a home. <laughs> we can settle down. Maybe you'll get married. <laughs> have some children and grandchildren and great great grandchildren. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe one of them will save the world. And I did get married. Married to a loving and wonderful man. My life, my journey, it was complete. I found love. And as for Naomi's journey, she too found what she needed. A family.